こんにちは。こんにちは。二つお願いします。二つですね。はい、こちらが白あんですね。あ,あ,り,がありがとうございました。So I've been in Japan for four and a half years now, and the food is always a pleasure. My name is Sam Davis. I'm the project leader for JT60 SA. JT60 SA is one of the largest fusion devices in the world. It's the biggest operating tokamak. Welcome to Naka, home of the JT60 SA tokamak. Let's take a look. Here you can see a scale model of the JT60SA Tokamak. We built JT60SA to help us in our quest for fusion energy. We want the plasma at the core of the device to be so hot and so dense that the hydrogen atoms fuse together, releasing lots of energy. We achieved this using superconducting magnets, which we use to confine and to control the plasma. Now, let me show you the real thing, which is a lot bigger. I'm an engineer, so I enjoy building things and seeing them come to life and seeing them operate. It is also a huge privilege to be working on fusion energy. This is one of the most important missions of our time. So here you have a nice view of the JT60 SA Tokamak. The Tokamak is the most advanced concept to date to reproduce the power of the sun here on Earth and produce fusion energy. Fusion energy is a huge challenge and to crack this, we need a very wide range of skills and experience. The collaboration between Europe and Japan under the broader approach is a very special example of teamwork. And as you can see, the work is far from finished. We have many components still to install this year, ready to come back for more powerful operation in 2026. The JT60 SA project started in 2007 and construction of the basic device was completed in 2020. Now we're upgrading it further to make it even more powerful. The Tokamak is big, but the auxiliary equipment we need to support it is even more extensive. Right now we're using this space to receive incoming components. Antti, what do we have here? Hey Sam, this is a cryo pump from Germany. JT60 SA is really a huge puzzle. We have components coming from over to 70 suppliers. It's a great challenge, and we've needed more than 700 people from throughout Europe and Japan, from many different suppliers and laboratories to bring together all of their skills and experience to achieve this. This is the control room. This is where we control the Sokomak and perform the experiments. Okay guys, so we're ready for the next shot. Yes, we have set up the plasma discharge condition. Very good, let's go. The discharge sequence starts. The discharge request notified. JT60SA is a critical next step in our quest for fusion energy. JT60SA will provide crucial data for the startup of ITER and will help us to prepare the next generation of operators which will run it. The first plasma was in October 2023. That was a quite a small, short plasma with a current of about 130 kiloamps. And quickly after that, we went on to produce our biggest plasma yet with a volume of 160 cubic meters. It's a new world record. Three, two, one, zero. Whoa. When JTCCSA starts operation again in 2026, it will be much more powerful and we'll be able to diagnose much more precisely what is happening inside the plasma. Oh, very nice. <laughs> so we're all part of an exciting experiment which has the potential to bring us closer to clean and sustainable energy for everyone.